Welcome to another episode of Asking Dr. Hansen. Today, I want to talk toothbrushes. It might be a simple thing, but it's very easy to get it wrong. And there is a lot of smart people out there just saying. As a doctor, I've met many, many people of great intelligence and they can't brush the teeth properly. So, is it because they're dumb? No, it's because they don't pay attention. That is why we pay attention to asking Dr. Hansen, because Dr. Hansen will make you feel good and he will teach you how to do things. And yes, so today, finding a toothbrush. Um, the brand itself is not that important. What is important, however, is that you get a toothbrush that is soft. The medium firmness and the hard firmness, they don't tend to really work that well. And the way the soft one works is you need to be very gentle. So with your teeth, go back and forward, apply very little pressure. And by doing so, this toothbrush is designed to go into all the different areas of the teeth. And make sure to brush your teeth for about five to seven minutes. Um, if you're in a rush, two to three minutes is okay. Uh, it's better to brush your teeth than not brushing your teeth. But if you can at least try five minutes, that would be really good. Um, you might listen to your favorite Taylor Swift song or whatever. And then you say, when the song is over, I'm done brushing my teeth. Um, so, it's important to use the right type of toothpaste. In this example here we have a whitening toothpaste. The whitening toothpaste the dental association is, is not too uh, impressed so to speak because what the whitening does it has a compound in the toothpaste itself that acts uh, a little bit like a sandpaper. So it will actually sort of break down the teeth to make it nice and white. So all this whitening stuff, it makes the teeth look really nice, but it will damage the teeth. Um, so yeah, brushing your teeth is important. And please use common sense. If you're waking up and you're having breakfast and coffee, brush your teeth afterwards. Don't brush it before, because you brush it before you get a layer of protection with um, with the fluoride but then as soon as you eat that will attack your teeth so eat first and brush later and then try to not snack too much because when you're snacking a lot that's when the teeth get attacked all the time um, the worst thing for your teeth is the stuff that sticks sugary things that stick on your teeth like the lollies and stuff like that um, so try to reduce that and if you do you can always uh, rinse your mouth and then brush your teeth and that works in two ways because after you brush your teeth your teeth is now protected but also it prevents you from snacking again because you've already brushed your teeth so it's a good way of getting those cravings under control on the back side of this toothbrush you may have seen a bit of a pattern and this is for the time Ah, so you can um, scrape your tongue and the stuff that makes your breath bad is uh, stuff, bacteria sitting on the tongue so you can clean it. And you can also put a little bit of toothpaste on and just run it around your tongue. And uh, yeah, when it comes to drinking sugary drinks, we don't recommend that you do that. But if you would, please use a straw. The straw were designed in America so you can still drink sugary drinks without having to uh, sacrifice your teeth so what you do is you put in your straw deeper in your mouth and then you make sure that it doesn't uh, contact the, the teeth if you do contact the teeth it's not a big thing you can wash your mouth with water and then they protect it uh, we also recommend um, this is a common thing that people don't think about when it comes to the teeth. Um, your teeth have a certain lifespan and if you grind your teeth at night 
that lifespan will be greatly reduced. So we recommend that you come in to your closest dentist and you get a mouth guard. And what that does, it, it creates a protective layer that is tailor-made for your teeth. It will reduce the amount of um, grinding that you do at night and it will also make you sleep better. But that grinding, when you're grinding the teeth every night, it's like sandpaper. And uh, us dentists, we're talking about the state of your teeth. So if we say that you have 50%, then it means that 50% of the lifespan has already been gone. So some people are doing really well, while some people are not doing so well myself was grinding my teeth and I got myself a mouth guard made and it uh, has expanded uh, the lifespan of my teeth and it also saved money for the future because once you're grinding enough and you're grinding into the canal not only is that going to be incredibly painful it's going to be incredibly expensive so it's a lot cheaper to you know prevent it from happening uh, and also you sleep better so and you snore less so it, it's a win-win and you know you're putting some money in our pockets because you know as a dentist we make a lot of money but we also have a lot of big expenses and the machinery what, that we use uh, it's very expensive and the way it works we can't buy a machine we're leasing a machine so you, we have to pay rent for this machine we have to pay rent for the x-ray machines we have to have a license from the government to run uh, the x-ray machines and it needs to be like there's a lot of expenses that you don't really see so the take-home pay may not be as, as, as big as you think it is and also have to remember yes as a dentist we do make a bucket load of money but at the same time put yourself in our shoes being a dentist is a very stressful job because people are stressed when they come to the dentist and we as a dentist it's, it's uh, our job to sort of calm them down and it can be stressful so being a dentist is not as glorified as it is and you know you're doing the same stuff every single day and you know and then you know as a dentist as a proper dentist once you get your own practice going you anchor your income to your expenses so you know I got a big house and a big car and I play golf and uh, my wife has uh, her own credit card and we go on holidays so I'm actually in debt so that's why I'm doing this video and you know check out my dental office uh, yeah Dr. Hansen's dental clinic and come in because we will treat you well and we will take care of you you know we will save you money while putting money in my pocket so thank you for showing interest and looking after your teeth have a good day bye now from dr hansen